For me, this is the perfect spot to compare and enjoy all four of the most traditional pastas from Rome. Looks great. Pasta alla gricia, amatociana, carbonara, and cacio e pepe. These four pastas make up, would you, would you say, John, the classic Roman pastas? Or yes. the classic Roman dishes, really? Roman, yes, and they're very unique to Rome. They do make them in other places, but they're really made best here in Rome. Legend has it that the shepherds around Rome would always have a variety of basic ingredients that would allow them to make all of these different pastas. It all started with gricia, pasta with pecorino, black pepper, and guanciale, Correct. which is the pork cheek. Mm -hmm. Then if you add tomato sauce with the guanciale and the pecorino, it becomes amatociana. Bravo. Okay. Okay. If you add eggs, you have carbonara. Uh-huh. And then cacio pepe, just pecorino cheese and black, black pepper. pepper. When you don't have the guanciale because you run out of it. Yeah. And they need to be executed well because right. they're all so simple. Every time I make cacio pepe, it gets super stringy. Like I don't get the good... Oh, pasta water, darling. Oh, it's not it's silky. Right. Like I can't get it smooth. It tastes delicious. It breaks. But... Yeah. For me, the matuchana is my favorite because I like the acidity and the fruitiness of the tomato against the flavor of the guanciale. Wow. Wow. That's so good. Switch with Emma. Grazie. How is this one? Good? Good black pepper? Yeah. That's my favorite part. And it's beautifully glazed. You know, it's like not too much sauce. All of them, you can see, they're just coated with the sauce. Mm. This one is... Fantastic blows those two away. It has more dimension. When you come to Rome, you should probably order one of these four pastas if you want to have the classic Roman experience. 